Hey Sagittarius, this week we are fresh off the back of Easter, time of rebirth, growth, inspiration, all that fresh energy coming through. So hopefully you are feeling it and you're kind of ready for the week because we also have Venus moving into Gemini this week. So Gemini is your opposite sign and it's an air sign and Venus is like what we need and what we value. And so this week and the coming weeks, we are going to be really needing to connect, uh, not necessarily in big, profound ways, but just in small day to day ways, you know, just saying, how are you to somebody? Just kind of reaching out and, and, you know, maybe paying someone a compliment. It's not having to be something that is going to be life changing, you know, like these big kind of uh, Sagittarian topics like life and philosophy it's more about kind of day-to-day stuff and you know learning things and opening up to the little things with venus and gemini and so for you this is a time where you know there really is some learning about getting outside of your comfort zone or getting outside of the things that you are used to so you might feel like you want to connect with people a little bit more than usual um, and it doesn't necessarily need to be like a big deal it's just kind of like a, you know a little chat here and there or you know just some um, something to kind of feed your your mind in some ways it might be like um, a new hobby that you're interested in or a documentary that you wanted to watch it's just really about feeding the natural curiosity and the natural need for interaction and for uh, engagement that you have at this time so your cards are oh, very nice. The Empress and the Ten of Cups. These are beautiful cards. Um, so there is a blessing coming for you, a blessing for um, happiness, basically, a, a big blessing for fulfillment. Um, and here it's like basically saying like what you want is going to come to you, but you have to have faith about it and you have to enjoy the process because um, the Empress is really about abundance and the Ten of Cups is about like the happily ever after. So these two cards are really beautiful and if you're sitting there going like oh that's not going to happen to me then that's what you really need to explore this week because these are very beneficial cards so having faith that this is eventually going to unfold for you is really the lesson i think at this moment so guys pop a comment below if it resonated otherwise there are uh, links for full readings please subscribe and i'll see you next week